How's it going everyone? Scott McKay here from Thin Air Graphics doing a down and dirty tricks how to on how to clean up a logo for plotting versus printing. This is a logo that was supplied to me from a print house that the client wants it hand painted, wants it painted uh, as opposed to a decal made. So what we normally do in this case is we would take, this is already a vector, and if it was a clean vector, we could just cut the masks out for each color, and then we're going to apply the paint and do some effects and shading and things like that to it. But, so, you know, the client will send it and say, you know, it's already a vector, it's ready to go. And it is if you're a printer, but if you someone who plot like I do for, you know, painting, where you're going to plot sections by color, what you can see is this is not clean and ready. Uh, this is perfect, a perfect EPS, a very clean, scalable file, uh, unlimited size for printing. Because, you know, when you go up and zoom in, you know, it's not pixelated. It's, it's a true vector. It's fully scalable. It's always clean. No pixelization because it is a vector graphic. It is an EPS file um, or AI or any other type. But it is, you know, an EPS type, it, meaning it's a vector based. It's a line drawing. When you select it, you'll notice something. Only certain things are highlighting. Only certain paths are highlighting. This is very common what designers do. Uh, it's the right way to do it for them because they're just going on print or going on screen or things like that. So like, let's look at this, for example. This one line, if you try to plot this out of a machine or cut a stencil, per se, this line, all that's going to cut is this one thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go from this preview mode, which is just called preview mode, to outline mode. And you can change it up here in the view. You go from uh, preview to outline. If I go to outline, see what you're seeing? You're only seeing this one line. You're not seeing the other lines. You can also hit Command or Control Y, depending if you're a Mac or PC, and switch it out really easy. The other thing to notice, look at the lettering. They have some cruddy lettering here, which is probably from a bad trace, and then they've overlaid the other lettering, but they left it because for a printer, it doesn't matter. You know, when you come into here, you see all these little extra things in here that they cleaned up and did. You know, again, they probably did a quick scan of a JPEG or an image and then just added cleanups and made it sharp. So again, this is the look we want. This is what would plot out of a computer. Your machine will go nuts. You don't want that. So this is where a lot of the you know, Adobe Illustrator or design books stop. They teach you how to do this. But if you're someone like me who plots, you're going to have a hard time with this logo. Um, but it's actually an easy fix. So let's talk about how to fix it. So what, what do they do here? What they did is they took a line. And what they did is they added an outer outline of black and an outer outline of gold with the computer, and they just used a stroke. That's all they did. So they clicked on this, and they changed the stroke weight, you know, just like I can do here. And I can make it bigger or smaller, and they just left it. And that's fine. They didn't do anything wrong. They did what they need to do for printing. We're not printers, and they're not, you know, painters that run a plotter. So two different worlds. So how do we fix it? Super easy. Select everything, drag over everything, or hit Control A. Select everything. You know, uh, you know, Command A, Control A selects all. And let's let's switch back into preview mode. That Command Y or View, you know, preview or View Outline. So you can just see everything. Now what you're going to do is you need to expand all this. Expanding, which means what they do is all these little effects are effects, are line effects and stroke effects. So by expanding it. Going to object, because these are all objects on a page. Think of them as objects. Go to object, expand. It's going to ask you, do you want to do you know, fills or strokes? I do both. I do strokes and fills and just expand everything. Now what you'll see is you'll see all the expansions and everything they did. So what what's it look like? It looks like you created a lot more work. Didn't change in here, but when you go here, there's a lot more going on. So now you're thinking to yourself, this is going to be even worse to clean up. Why did I do this? Why you did it is very simple, because this is a technique I learned a long time ago about isolating things by color, grouping them, selecting them, and this is where the magic happens. So this is where the technique really comes in. So again, this is your logo that was supplied. That's what it looks like on printer. If you want to plot it right now, you'll get this. And sometimes you get the file like this at a time and it's already expanded. So, you know, you don't want to be cutting this to look like this. It's going to be an absolute mess. So let's clean it up. All right, you ready for this? This is where it gets really easy. Pathfinder tool. This is your friend right here. This is this is the magic right here. Um, this is a trick I learned a long time ago for designing Celtic knots and doing over-under weaves and things like that and grouping by color. 
So there's two main things you're going to learn here is Pathfinder and what this magic wand tool actually does. Okay. So first things first, select it all again, go to Pathfinders and hit divide. Now what divide does, it divides every item into its own shape. So it didn't look like it did much, but what it did do, it divided everything. So see, it divided all these little shapes into other shapes that you can now pick apart and pull. You know, see, I can grab this whole thing now and I can pull it out. I can grab this whole yellow area and pull it out. So why would I want that? Doesn't look any different, but it is. So now what I did is I made all these little black shapes, all these white shapes, all these gold shapes, all these yellow shapes, they're all there. This is where the magic wand comes in. Magic wand, you can double click and make sure you set your tolerances. I always set my tolerances down to like, down to one or like two or something. Magic wand is a color selector. It'll select everything on the page that's of the same color. So if you've got gradients that are like, if you've got a gradient here that's all similar color, you can set it to like a, you know, five or a 10. It'll grab anything in that color family. So watch. See, it just grabbed everything of that color. Okay, all the yellows it just grabbed. So what it did, grab all these yellows into a shape. Okay, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this and you're gonna hit Unite. Now it just made one clean shape. I'm gonna do that again so you see it. Magic wand, select all the yellow. Unite, now it's a nice clean shape. Again, magic wand, let's do the gold. That's a pretty easy one, it's not gonna do much. Let's do the white. Select everything in white. I'm going to up the tolerance a little bit to 10 and make sure. Okay, yep, so this is hollow, so there's no wood. Yep, so that's white. Didn't select both white, so these must be slightly off shade. Let's go 15 and see if that changes. It doesn't. So what you can do is hit that one, hold shift, the other shift key, and hit that. Now it's going to grab them both. See, it took all these two, all that lettering. Look at that. And now hit unite. Now it's clean. And now you're going to hit the black. Look at all that selection. Selects all that. Unite. Now you have a super clean vector. Ready to go. There's still a couple, see there's a little extra lines in here. So what is that? That's the gray. I didn't notice that gray. I'm going to do that. Grab that. Select that. Okay. Now we have a very clean file. Ready to go. Lettering's tight, everything's tight. So I'm going to show you here is another trick. This is what you want to do with files like this. Um, because sometimes when these designers do effects, it puts a lot of extra data behind it. So you get all these double cuts and triple cuts. So what you can do, first things first, I'm going to change this white. I always change the white color here just to a little bit of gray so I can see it easier. Okay. Um, let me go a little bit lighter just so you can see it a hair. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to magic wand select each one, and I'm going to move them. So you, you're going to see. So there's the white layer. So if you were like screen printing, this is great. Here's the gold layer. Move this out. Okay. Here's the black line work. Here's the gold. I'm just going to tuck that behind. Here's that gray. I'm just going to move that solo. Oops. Double click. I'm going to move that out of the way. Okay, why did I do this? Because what I want to do is I want to hit select all and see if there's anything in the middle. There's not. This is all clean. There's two, there's two little extra dots there, um, which I don't need. I don't know what they're for. They might have been something in the artwork or the teeth. I'm not going to need it for paint. I'm just going to delete that. Okay. And now they know it's clean. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and actually undo everything and move those back. And I'm going to select each one again. I'm going to select each color. I'm going to move them. Move them out of the way and double check. And yeah, there's these little extra thingies there. I'm going to get rid of them. And now you have a perfectly clean logo. 
ready to go, ready to plot, create your mask. Now you can create one by each color. And let me show you what it looks like. Nice and clean. See, that? that's what you want. Nice, clean lines, no extra cuts. And you can cut by color. Now, if you cut this by itself like this, you are going to get double cuts because it's going to cut this black outline as a shape. And it's going to cut this gold outlines of shape. So if you're going to be painting the gold here, you can take that gold out. Doesn't change the look of it. Okay. You know, if you just want the black work, you can just take the black line art out. A lot of times I just I group it. I'll magic wand it and hit control G. Now all that black line is a group. So if you just want the black lines, there's your logo. Nice and clean. You can plot that, print that, and you can hand paint all the rest. So hope this helped you. Hope that opened up a little bit, you know, of uh, knowledge for you and just made it crystal clear how to do it. This is a really common um, cleanup method. So whenever you download vectors from the internet or company logos or especially mascot logos from like schools, this is what you're usually going to get. This will um, seriously simplify your time. And it's only a couple tools. Remember, it's select everything divide it, go to the magic wand, select each color, then unite each color into a shape, and then you can group each color, control G, and go through each one, and you're good to go. I hope you liked this down and dirty tricks, vector quick tip, and how to. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time.